He didn't know what to do himself, so he crossed his legs and he did one of these. <laughs> it again I don't know why I'm not purposely doing it it just happens it is beautiful outside as in like temperature wise it's gonna rain later on but I'm excited for actual spring weather why well, should say spring temperature because spring rains a lot I'm not excited for that part but I am excited for the temperature Okay. Alright, I gotta set up my hot towels in a second. Y'all, tell me why I just went food shopping. I spent all that money on food and I specifically bought breakfast so I wouldn't have to go out and shop around and buy breakfast from any type of establishment basically. And then I woke up too late and I didn't have time to make breakfast. <laughs> So I had to buy soup, but at least I bought vegetable soup. And it, it's small, it's not a lot, it costs like six something, but still like, it's insane. I went through all that trouble to food shop and then I forget to get up on time to make breakfast. But I'm gonna, what's the, what's the saying, nip it in the bud? <laughs> I'm gonna do that after today because I've just been wasting, well not wasting, because I enjoyed the actual foods. I've just been spending way too much food eating, um, wow, I've just been spending way too much money eating out on food, so, yeah, let me put my coat away. I had to get a brand new hands down towel. So, girl, where am I going to put this? But yeah, y'all. I can't believe I did all of that and then, wait, this lighting is killing the vibe. I did all that and I still forgot my break. Um, yeah, I still forgot my breakfast. My, what's happening to me? <laughs> I feel like sometimes I'm speaking while my brain is running a million times an hour and then when I go to go say it, I get a little um, confused and end up saying a bunch of gibberish. But I got some vegetable soup. I got about 30 minutes before my first client comes in. So I'm going to eat this for breakfast. And then I'll have to figure out what I'm going to have for lunch. Because the whole point was to not spend my money. I don't want to end up spending like $20 on lunch. You know what I mean? Because that's typically what I end up doing. Are you going to be able to see my soup? I don't know if you'll be able to see my soup. I'll try to show you. But it's good. I've had it before. I like this spot. They make good soup and they also make... Like you got all the vegetables in there. Hold on. Maybe my face needs to get out of it. You've got all the good vegetables in it. And it's chunky. Like, you see that? There's a lot of things in this soup. There's beans. There's potatoes. There's squash. What else is in here? Carrots. Like, it's a bunch of everything. They're really good. They also have really good oatmeal. So whenever I want something that's light, yet filling and quick and affordable, I go to this spot. And I like that it's very clean. So I do trust the um, buffet section. It's very clean and people are very respectable in that area. So I've never seen anyone do anything crazy or nasty. Basically from what I've seen. But yeah. I'm gonna do that, eat this, because I am starving. Maybe it's silly for me to feel this way about you and her. Oh, I know she's been such a good friend. I know she has helped you through. on the phone, every night you've been calling. Could you 
Good morning, y'all. I've got on from my last um, haul that I did. I bought the Azure 24K Gold Mask. Y'all, why didn't I read that it says peel off? I am so scared right now. Like, it's $3.99 from Marshalls. I like that it actually looks gold. Um, it says to it because when I was reading the direction, it said avoid eyebrows, any type of like facial hair, edges, all of that. But I just read it like it was normal. I didn't realize it's peel off. So now I'm just like, <laughs> I'm so terrified. Well, this one's a little gooey, a little bit, but the rest of them is already getting, getting a little hard. And you're supposed to keep it on for about 20 minutes. Y'all, over here is getting so stiff. I thought it was those type of masks that you put on and then it hardens up and then you wash it off. I didn't read that I have to peel it off and... <sighs> now I'm telling myself, I'm like, do I just thug it out and just like... And, and leave it and then peel it off? Or... I'm not gonna lie, my hands are like shaking. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm getting ready for work. I kind of just want to walk... I don't really want to peel it off right now. I feel like I have to, I feel like I'm gonna wash it off. And then I'll try it another day where I use an actual like facial spatula on like one part of my face and I have to make it thicker apparently and then I could just pull it off. Cause I did some research after putting it on my face. I got so scared, but y'all, oh my goodness. Lifting, illuminating, revitalizing with real gold. <sighs> y'all. <laughs> Let me go handle my face and, and let you know what happens afterwards, okay? Because I am i can't let it dry completely because I feel like it's going to hurt like a... <clears throat> yeah, let me go wash this off, okay? Thankfully, I washed it off. I took it all off my face and I was able to, I was able to rub it off. But I think only be, it's only because I had it on for a good like mm, five, six minutes. Before I got on camera, but you're supposed to keep it on for like 20 minutes and then you peel it off your face. And I'll never forget that time that I bought the um, black mask and I put it on and it was the ones that you peel off. And oh my God, the pain that I felt with that. And it took me, I think I, I think it took me like almost two hours to take everything off because it's not as crazy when it's semi dry, but when it really hardens up, girl. When it really hardens up, it gets crazy. So I think in the future when I use that, I'll probably use it like here in this area um, on my nose for my black head and maybe like this area here. But I don't think I'll be doing the full face because I'm traumatized from the black mask from doing my full face and peeling it off. That was the worst pain on the planet. So when I read that, when I read the gold mask and it said peel off, I said, girl, wait a minute. 
It says peel off on it. Why would you buy that? <laughs> I think I got excited because it said gold. But okay. Now I'm going to get ready for work. That was my my uh, trauma for the morning. <laughs> Yeah, I was let me let me move this camera over here so you can see me I was struggling for dear life to get this high bun oh my goodness like you see how smooth and nice that section is the back I hope it don't look crazy but you see the little pieces sticking out like the curls girl the struggle it was to put this hair up Fighting my brush to get everything to sit smooth. <laughs> All the curly curly haired people understand what I'm saying. Okay, so damn this lighting's horrible. A blind box from <laughs> from Amanda from Toki Doki. Hello kitty and Okay girl, get the angles. Hold on. Get the angles. <laughs> get the angles. Get the flower at the top. Ooh. Y'all peep the nails? Okay. <laughs> Okay, so let's open it. Oh, it's so cute. I don't want to ruin it. Do we just like spin it? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, I can. Okay, can I see. Okay, so it looks like you kind of like. Nope, I'm lying mm. to myself. Mm. We're gonna figure Maybe you have out. to like put it up like this and see where it comes out. Ugh. Unless you just have to rip it, but I don't want to rip it. I don't want to rip it. Does the bottom detach? Oh. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna detach from the bottom. I don't want to ruin that part. I'm gonna want to keep the um, packaging. Wait, did you, you got shorter nails. So can you, like, <laughs> you want me to do it right <laughs> Oh, they really keeping the secret. Okay. Oh, cool. There's some extras in it too. Stickers. Oh, that's so cool. Cute. Are mine the same one? Yeah. Yeah. Same stickers. You know, I don't really like Hello Kitty, but this is cute. The donuts, because I love donuts. Oh, it's very good. Oh, yeah. See if I can feel like ears. Yeah, no, I, I can't. Because you got it? I think I got it. Okay, hold on. You want me to? No, no, I got it. Okay, All right. I, I did this. One, two, three. <gasps> oh, oh. <laughs> I hate You hate Karomi. No, I don't hate her. She's oh. cute. It's just, oh my god, this is actually really cute. Hold on, can the camera see this? I feel like the angles right here is horrible with the lighting. <laughs> Wait, hold on a sec. Okay, I'm gonna make it face you. Sure. <laughs> you felt the ears, didn't you? Yes, I did. That's what it is. Okay, so. This is, hold on a sec. It's trying to, fit, it's trying to focus on your face. <laughs> <laughs> just get out of there. Okay. This is the Hello Kitty one. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. I actually think this one is really adorable. And she's got the treats with the donut, with the bow. Okay. That is so cute. And then you got Karomi. Her little bat. <laughs> Her little badass rocker. Oh, the guitar is shaped like it too. The um, what is that? A cherry blossom, right? Really? It looks like. Is it a cherry blossom? It is. Right? Yeah. yeah. It's shaped like it. Too cute. Thank you. You're welcome. This was fun.
y'all are a little too high. Okay, right there is perfect. I got about an hour break before my next client. This week was kind of slow. It wasn't really busy, but it's like that sometimes. You'll get like a week that you're super packed and backed up back to back, and then you'll get a week that's kind of like on and off. So this is my on and off week. Um, I want to take this off because I'm sick of it. <laughs> I'm tired of it. I want to take it off. I'm going to try to see if I can at least do the removal before my next client comes in. I don't know if that's possible. We'll see. And then I've got to figure out what I want to do nail-wise. I kind of want to go shorter because usually I have this and the longer coffin, but I don't know. I might just do the stiletto long today. Like, I don't know. I'm not in the mood for long nails. And it's also, it's still that weird spring, that confusing spring weather. So I don't really want to do, oh, that one just flew across. Wait a minute, where did it go? <laughs> it went all the way behind this chair. Give me a second. <sighs> Got it. Yeah, I'm not in the mood to do anything too complicated. So I might do shorter nails. Well, short in my world. For y'all, it might still be long. And then maybe like glitter or something fun and bright. I haven't decided yet. But anyway, okay, so I want to talk to y'all about shows. Um, I watch Peyton Charles' YouTube channel. I watch her vlogs, really love her channel. And she's always talking about Dawson's Creek. She always talks about like how she's watching an episode of that. So I was curious to see what the show was about. Because growing up, I never watched any serious shows. I always watched comedy-based shows. I was obsessed with Lizzie McGuire. Um, I loved Sister Sister. I love the Raven Simone show. What else? Fresh Prince, Martin, Boy Meets World, Saved by the Bell. Like, you get the gist. Those are the type of shows I watched. I never really watched serious shows about love and families and relationships. I mean, all of the shows that I named had their issues, but they were mostly like comedy based. They made jokes and funny things and whatnot. So I, I decided to take a look at um, Dawson's Creek I was like okay let me go check it out and see what it's about because she's always talking about it like it's an amazing show y'all I am so obsessed with that show now <laughs> and it's crazy because watching it at the age that I am at right now and I'm hearing the issues that they have and the relationship and the love triangle and the family issues I'm like man they were ahead of their time they're talking about um, love lives and gay rights and family dynamics and you know it's talking about it all love and teenage drama and you know it, it gives a little bit of everything even like racial issues in the in the school system it talked about a lot of things i was i was really shocked at the um topics that was available in that show but yeah, I've been really into that. I'm watching that. Now I'm curious as to what other shows I should look into that I didn't watch as a kid. Because now I'm wondering, like, did I miss out, you know? But that's what I'm doing right now. Okay, so I've clipped all of it down. Now I'm going to file it and soak it off and then just leave my nails bare until I figure out what I want to do. What size, what length, and what color, and whatever, whatever else. Okay, so... I'm going to do that now. <laughs> So 
these are my nails that I just finished um, painting. I'm so tired, I can't speak. <laughs> these are my nails that I just, girl. <laughs> these are my nails and they're done. It is late at night, I don't even know what time it is. I'm trying to give you the effects because I did this color from the gel bottle ink and it is the color Valentina. It's really nice, it almost looks like um, holographic, but like a slight purple pink kind of holographic. See how pretty that is? Okay, so I used that as the base and then I used cat eye on top of it so that it creates this dreamy effect. And the cat eye has like purple pink hues to it, as you can see with the thumbs, right? So on top of it, it gives it a little bit more depth. With, um, not with, it also picks up more of like that purple pink hue with the cat eye on top. And I did use shorter stiletto tips because I just wanted to change. I didn't really have much inspiration of art or anything, so yep, that's my, my nails for um, this round. <sighs> Y'all, I'm home. I didn't get here, I, I mean, girl, I got here not too long ago. It's 11.17 p.m., late at night. Man, on my way here was so chaotic. It was it it was it was crazy. So, you know, I finished my nails. Last you saw me, I was in the salon. I finished my nails. And then I went to go search up, you know, my I went to go look on the train. My brain needs to process. <laughs> I went to go look on the apps to see like what train options I have. Cuz you know, NYC even though the city the trains run 24 7 after certain hours they start to run a little different it'll, it'll be every 30 minutes every 40 minutes etc etc so anyway i was searching for my options for when i go home and i walk out and this has happened to me many times before so if you come to new york city just be careful because these people are not everyone it's not new york city completely but if you're out here as a tourist and you're naive, you could fall for these craziness that's happening all over. So anyway, I'm walking by and this lady comes out of nowhere. She's like behind me and she's saying, excuse me, like, I just want to, I just have a question, but she's looking at me like up and down. So for me, I'm thinking like, oh, maybe she wants to ask me about my coat. Cause you know, us as girls, we do that. We see somebody wear a nice coat or have nice hair. We'll be like, oh, where did you buy that? Da da da. So, I took my headphones off. I look at her, I'm like, hi, how's it going? How can I help you? This capital B. <laughs> and then when I asked her what's up, and then she tells me, oh, um, we was just, I was just wondering if you would like to do Bible study, and da da da, -da. I'm looking at her, I'm like, get the F out of my face. I, should, I told her shut up. I was like, get the F out of my face. I was like, y'all are crazy. And she was and then she 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 felt the like that I was a little hostile <laughs> so she felt it and she was just like oh okay okay no no problem no problem okay and she started to like move away a little bit and then I kind of panicked and I had to look inside my bag because I had my purse but then I travel with my bag where I carry my camera equipment and stuff and I looked inside of it because I'm like let me make sure she didn't put no air tags or anything in my bag because you know you can't trust people but anyway that's how they get you. They try to talk about it's Bible study and blah, blah, blah. Who's, who's going to Bible study at 10, 10 p.m.? It was 10, 10 p.m. Because I looked at my phone. I looked at my bag and then I panicked and then I looked at my phone. And I seen 10, 10 p.m. And I'm just like, what the F? And the last time that happened to me was a lady um, around Fifth Avenue. And um, she came up to me and asked me about Bible study and if I believe in Jesus and stuff and they'll have in the Bible study. And it was like around like, I think like 8.15 or 8.30 p.m., something like that. And I looked at her and I was like, Bible study? She's like, yes. She's like, me, um, some of my friends, we're doing, we're having a bubble study. A bubble study, girl. <laughs> I'm tired, excuse me. 
we're doing a bible study um not too far away from here if you like you can come with us and we could so she was trying to get me to follow her to some random building that i have no idea where, where it is and who it is with for me to go and have bible study now i'm i'm a spiritual per person i have my own beliefs but when these things happen i'm just like it's just so wrong to try to use religion and all of that to try to trap people like god forbid i, I went with her i don't know if she if i was gonna end up getting trafficked i don't know if i would ended up getting you know killed i don't know what they wanted you know people there's a lot of craziness that happens in the world i don't know if someone trying to get organs because you know people sell that on the black market like there's a lot of craziness but i'm just sitting here like i'm just looking at that lady and i cussed out so bad i said more things that i can't say on camera but i'm like at 10 10 at night i was like y'all are crazy walking around trying to scam people at late at night like that and she just like started backing up because i was causing a scene so she definitely did not want people to see who she was and what she was doing but it was just crazy because i noticed i'm like i looked across and I see, like, not that far from me. And I see the, the Asian, like, bystander just, like, doing her thing, checking her phone, whatever. And then you see the Asian lady approaching her the same way the black lady approached me. And then it hit me. I'm like, oh, my goodness. They must have, like, an Asian woman for, like, the, the Asian girl that they want to, you know, that they want to approach. They must have, like, the black girls to approach the black women. They must have like the white girls to approach the white women so you can feel comfortable like, oh, she looks like me. You know, she's really nice and she's talking about the Bible and Jesus. So maybe I should go with her. Y'all don't fall for that. Don't fall for it. It's just crazy. I'm just thinking about it. I'm like, thank God I have common sense. Thank God I have common sense to be like, absolutely not. At this hour, you're crazy. Even if it was 2 o'clock in the afternoon. First of all, I don't know you. I'm not following you. I'm not going with you anywhere. Why would I go with you in the middle of the night? And then also, here's the icing on the cake. I love New York City, man. But it, the stories I could tell you, <laughs> I feel like I could write a book. I'm on the train now because I'm irritated. I'm like, I just want to get home so I could come and walk, take off my makeup, shower, eat my food and go to bed i get on the train i'm on the phone i remember earlier i was telling y'all i started watching dawson's creek so i'm on the phone i'm watching dawson's creek i'm like on the next episode because you know i'm excited i'm like oh i gotta see what happens next because they they left the they left me at like a cliffhanger y'all <laughs> i'm on the phone like this and i'm watching the video and I feel my nostrils burning. Like, it felt so hot when I received that stench. Like, you ever smell something so foul that your nose burns? So I'm on my phone. I'm like, like, <laughs> I just said, what the f is that? And God forgive me, please. But. I understand homelessness. I understand struggle. Like, listen, I don't come from money, okay? I've struggled in life. I've, I've slept on corners of people's floors. Like, I've, I've experienced life. So I'm not judging for that. But all that to say, this man stank so foul. It was like... He wore the same socks every single day for probably that straight year. Just stinky athlete's foot. Mixed with pure piss. You know, like, imagine if someone peed the bed. But didn't change the sheets for like six months. And just left that piss on the bed. It was like a combination of that with stinky feet. And then the guy had the audacity to come around begging for money, but he's like in your face. So it wasn't like I could escape him. And so he came and he's, oh, just the thought of it makes me want to throw up. 
And then he came and he's like right here and he's asking and I looked up and my face is... <laughs> I didn't mean to have my face like that. It's just like I'm in shock. And I look up and I said... <sighs> and I just looked at him like that and he looked at me. Like, I ain't got it. <laughs> but even if I did, y'all, <laughs> it just knocked my conscience. Like, I can't process <laughs> because it just thanks so much. And then the person next to me, <laughs> this, this guy next to me, you could tell he works corporate or something. He had his suit on. And the guy went from sitting straight just on his phone texting. He didn't know what to do himself, so he crossed his legs and he did one of these. <laughs> and he kept going. <laughs> because he didn't want to be rude. He didn't want to be rude, but I could see he was struggling. And y'all, we had just left that stop. Now, if you ride the New York City subway, you know. It takes a few moments before you get to the next stop, especially when you're going from Manhattan to a different borough. It's, it's, so the doors had just closed. There's no way to walk because he started walking from here and he's walking down the, the other part of the train um, cart. So whether I walk down there, I would he would have passed me again. But then if I go down there, he left that trail of the scent. So I'm just like... What do I do with myself? So the guy is like sitting like this across from me. Then I look across from the other side because I'm like this. I'm just like, I'm just pissed and I'm annoyed and irritated. And all you see is people doing these. And then the girls like that. And then somebody had a mask. And even with the mask on, they're like this. I'm just like, <sighs> the things I have to go through in this city, it just... I feel like my life is not real sometimes. I feel like I'm in a cartoon show. Like sometimes I feel like life is not real out here. Like it's got to be scripted because it don't make no sense. But y'all, when that door opened, you should have seen. <laughs> you should have seen <laughs> how quickly we all went. <laughs> now me, I'm looking at it and I'm like, but if I just go to the next cart, maybe he'll go down to that cart and then that stench will continue. Girl, when I tell you I ran down three carts to go take the cart all the way down there. And when I got there, I finally like let out a breath and just breathe. I don't know. Life is crazy. Tonight tonight was insane. But I'm I'm happy I did my nails. But tonight was insane. But I just I just wanted to give you guys a little insight. On what happens to my life daily out here in New York because you guys don't you guys don't get to see this part and hear about it because you see the salon and the shopping and stuff but y'all life sometimes don't feel real it doesn't feel real it's crazy but all right let me go wash my makeup off and go eat because I'm tired <laughs>